the scary spider pinata. This is what we're gonna make today. Welcome again to Passion Fruit Crafts, and here is what we will need. As of now, you will need strips of paper, papier mache paste, and a fully blown up huge balloon. To start with, you need to cover the balloon with large white paper and tape it on the sides as you can't apply papier mache directly to the balloon. And set it on a glass bowl to stabilize it. Now I take my papier mache paste and start applying on the balloon and start sticking the paper strip on top of it. Coming back to papier mache paste, I have taken one cup of flour, quarter cup of salt and one and a half cup of water. The consistency needs to be like pancake batter. After the first layer was done, I did not need to wait much for the second layer as I live in a very dry country. I have used tissues for the second layer of pinata to ensure I don't use too many paper strips at some point and very less at the other point, making it uneven. I kept spraying water in between to make sure everything settles down and takes the shape of the large balloon. Here you see the third layer has started and the difference of color ensures that you get an even pinata. It was very difficult to film this, hence I had to speed up the whole video. Since my third layer is over, here I have started with the head. For the head, I have used a smaller balloon and covered it with the newspaper and tape using the same technique and taped it to a bigger pinata. And I am doing the same thing, I am taking my papier mache paste and paper strips and covering the whole thing. You see the head of my pinata is resting on another bowl to ensure it stays stable. It is probably after three days my pinata can stand straight and now I can cover the head with more papier mache easily and make sure the neck stays straight. This is how the body of a spider looks like when it's ready. Now I will start with the legs of the pinata and I need really hard paper. Here I have just cut up an old thick paper bag. I take the rectangular sheet of paper bag and roll it at an angle. After which you just need to twist it anyhow. You see I have made 8 of these spidey legs. To start decorating your pinata you need loads and loads of black crepe paper. I directly cut rolls of black crepe paper into thick strips and cut a fringe into it. I have opened up the fringe and started covering the legs of the spider first. I cover the legs of the spider with glue and papier mash. and start rolling the black fringe at an angle to ensure all parts of the legs are covered. This can be done while the head of your pinata dries and make sure you stick the ends of this properly. Please ignore the mess on my workstation. Now that my pinata has dried, I have cut a hole on top to fill in the candy. Start decorating from the bottom. Mix one part water and one part glue, fill up a tube and start applying. I have stuck square pieces of paper at the bottom after which I will start gluing the fringes. Ensure you have ample amount of glue. I ran out of glue in the middle of this. Start gluing the fringe at the side of the base in a sort of oval shape. I completely forgot to mention that when you cut a hole on top, obviously the balloon will burst. You don't need to burst the balloon that is inside the head as it doesn't matter.
Keep gluing in concentric circles till you have covered the whole piñata. Don't get disappointed if you get it wrong at first. You see, it's hard work. You might take some time. Cover the empty white spaces with extra black fringe. And finally, this is what the spider looks like from the top. And you can see that I have already started covering the head with fringe. I have started from the tip of the head towards the neck, again in concentric circles. Guys, this spider is huge. I couldn't fit the whole thing into my shoot. And now for attaching the legs to the spider, I make slits in the side using my paper cutter. So four slit on each side. It is not that difficult if you put your mind to it. Take those hairy spidey legs and insert in those slits. Use a very strong glue and tape it from the inside. You will have to fold those legs a bit. I like the way my tarantula has turned out it seems. I've used a circle cutter to cut out two circles from cream colored paper for the eyes. And then I made those bloody veins using red colored sketch pen. Since I did not have a smaller sized circle cutter, I just punched out two balloons and then cut them to shape. Glue on the black irises onto the white bloody eyeballs. Time to glue the bloody eyes on the head. I then cut out a toothy evil grin for the mouth. I guess it should be called fangy, not toothy. I punched two holes using a skewer stick to hang the piñata. Thread some orange string into it and we are ready to go. Here I have just used some orange wool. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Meanwhile, keep watching Passion Food Crafts.